Stefan. Okay, very good. Uh, I'm pretty good. Thanks for asking. Can you see my screen? Yes. Can you help me to read this quote? Okay. Um, at the Doge Loaf, every man becomes a poet. Attributed to Plato, right? Do you think that this phrase is true? Um, it's true. And that's what we are going to learn today. Poetry is a human activity. Let's continue. Okay. Richard Feynman. Do you know this guy? Um, no, never. Okay. So this man who is playing the bongos was also a scientist. We are going to see some of his work that is not science, right? And now I want you to match the bold phrases with their meaning. I'm going to read the phrase and you repeat after me, right? Right. I stand at the seashore alone and start to think. I stand at the seashore alone and start to think. Yet forming white surf in unison. Yet forming white surf in unison. Thunderously pounding the shore as now. Thunderously pounding the shore as now. A might makes the sea roar. A might make the sea bro and now the meanings small arachnid a small arachnid loudly punching loudly punching land at the sea's edge land and the sea's edge simultaneity simultaneity okay you're going to match the meanings with the words to complete this activity you're going to have three minutes so okay Three minutes. How much time Three do you minutes. have? Very good. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's see. Are you done? Yes, it's it's okay. Can you read? the sentences and their answers yeah yes i stand at right right okay now i'm going to delete your answers this is the same activity now three more words and complex uh, complex okay two more minutes right okay right teacher i'm finished okay uh, let's see your answers. I think this is a bit confusing, but what do you think? Oh, okay. Something that repeats, that's a pattern, right? Okay, yes, right. But a cradle, yes, it's correct. Very good. Okay. What would be intricate? Intricate equal complex. Very good. Okay, right complex we're going to continue choose the more appropriate meaning of the poem right? Uh, right can you help me to read the first paragraph okay first yeah life is like to see and it is contesting vain exercise be our son what you're going to do is that you're going to listen to the text and then we are going to select the meaning Right. Okay. So I'm going to give you the link of, of one video which has the poem. I created this video. Here you go. And it's on the chat. Tell me if you have any problem. You're going to have three minutes, right? Okay. And once that you are done, you're going to type on the chat this word. Done. Right? Okay. Wow, the voice, man, very relaxed. I love you. So now we are back. Uh, what do you think about the video? Did you like it? The, I like it. The voice, the man is <laughs> good. beautiful, beautiful. Very relaxed. <laughs> okay, I, I did as much as I could. Do you want to hear again and read? Or do you want to practice with me and read together on the screen? Um, listen again. Um, Okay, so uh, I'm going to sh be sharing the audio. Raise your finger if you can hear, right? 
I stand at the seashore, alone, and start to think. Uh, we are going to answer the question. So you're going to circle the one that you think that fits better. I'm going to give you a minute to think and to select the answer. Okay, right, teacher. Okay, so can you help me to read the answer? Um, the other one, uh, to real. Very good. Uh, the other ones are too literal. And this has a lot of metaphoric meaning, right? And we can see, let's, let's turn back to the poem. I'm going to let your answer, sorry. According to the text, the earth, our planet, was once a lifeless place. So do you think that the sun helped to keep life going? It's very important, the sun. Okay, right. Now, what you're going to do is that you're going to circle words that rhyme together, right? And I'm going to circle them. Okay. So if you find any other rhyme, you circle it, right? Right. Okay, you're going to have three minutes to do it. Okay. Very good. So you have noticed something very curious, right? That these words, what makes them rhyme, Jose Luis? Um, the sound is... Yeah, like rests and space and see and repeat things, protein. I'm going to delete this. Okay. Um... Now, what you're going to do is that you're going to complete this with words from the text. Okay, teacher. What minutes to... Uh... Three minutes to do it. Three minutes to do it. Okay, okay. okay. Okay, teacher, thanks. Done, teacher. Okay, let's see. Now let's move on. Okay. So now we have these three sentences and are completely rushed are completely scrambled, and you're going to rearrange or resort each sentence. You're going to write them, but in the correct order, right? Right. So for this, you're going to have two minutes, um, right? Okay, okay, okay. There you go. Okay, let's continue. Now, this is the final activity, and you're going to imagine that you are Richard Feynman. Okay. okay. And you're yes. thinking about the beauty of the life and the universe. Can you read the second instruction? That you are Richard Feynman and you are thinking about the beauty of the life in the universe. Write a show paragraph about it. Use the word from the text in the words below. Okay. So you can use these words that you already know to create a text and also the words from the poem, anything that can help you. How long should your text be? 100 words approximately. Okay, 100 words approximately. You're going to have 10 minutes, right? Okay, right. Okay, so how much time do you have? Three minutes, five mi 10 minutes. 10 minutes, Sorry. okay. okay. Is it going to be about poems or about the beauty? of the life and the universe. The universe, okay. Right, the universe. This text should be in prose. Okay, right, teacher. <sighs> okay, so uh, you're done, right? Can you share your answer? Matter will enter through the black hole in the bottom much faster than a meteor. Ejecting a star at a significant scale, all thanks to the connection of gravity. Observing from a microscope, observing a small organism, adapting to grow thanks to evolution. The planets, their orbits, 
all their elements necessary to create minerals in their life, but only on thanks to the law that govern us in the universe. Oh, man, that was beautiful. Seriously, uh, no kidding, for real. Uh, the way how, how you said it, and, and also uh, the content, it was amazing. I, I mean, how you said that all things to gravity and things to this, things slide. And, and it's, it's amazing. It's a very good thing to be thankful. Oh, I, I really like it. Great. And now uh, for homework, uh, what you're going to do is that you're going to use that text and create a poem and you're going to bring it to the class. Okay. Okay. So um, see you tomorrow. Goodbye, teacher. <laughs>